Hi, today we're gonna do a little fun experiment here. As most of you might know that diesel fuel is just a very well refined crude oil. But some types of diesel are actually produced from vegetable oils and uh, therefore they call biodiesel. For the most part it's a corn oil that is being used there and my idea today I'm gonna try to run regular corn cooking oil inside the diesel engine as a fuel and see if it will run on it. I kind of think that it might. i almost certain that it will. Uh, I also have different other types of oils here, so such as olive oil, I got sunflower oil, I got avocado oil, and lastly, I have some engine oil and transmission fluid. I'm not sure uh, how well it will run on transmission fluid, uh, but I'm almost positive that some of these oils will work inside diesel engine so i'm gonna try to run it today and we'll see what happens our guinea pig today will be this uh, caterpillar 13 horsepower diesel engine it has seen very little use in its life let alone uh, cooking oils so i think you will be very surprised today first i'm gonna run it on straight diesel fuel just to warm it up and then once it's warm we'll begin the experiment Alright, so I think it's warm enough, so um, our next contestant will be uh, heating oil. I think it's the closest to diesel fuel uh, from all the oils we got here, so I think this will run the same way as it runs on diesel. So uh, let's see what happens. Oh, we might need something. It will start on diesel fuel because there's some in lines still, but then once it circulates, it will be running on uh, heating oil. As you can see, heating oil slowly travels into the pump. So here it is, here it comes. RPMs are very similar. So I don't see any real difference running on diesel or on heating oil. So I think they are very similar oils, at least from what I see here. Next in line is uh, corn oil. So uh, let's see what happens. So I think that's enough to prove that it actually runs pretty well on uh, uh, corn oil. It doesn't look like it's near as viscous as uh, diesel fuel is. The fuel pump isn't pumping nearly as much of this oil through the system, uh, yet engine still runs well. It runs and the RPM stays the same as with diesel fuel. So I'm not sure if there's actually any difference other that diesel fuel being uh, a little bit more viscous so uh, but uh, let's try some other oils and see what happens all right so next guy on the block is uh, sunflower oil so uh, let's see
So what can I say? I'm really surprised actually. It runs just fine on sunflower oil as well. It actually smells a little bit like a fried sunflower seeds, which is uh, really funny. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think it's running slightly slower. It's uh, doing like 1980 RPMs, which is like 50 RPMs lower than it typically does on diesel fuel. But uh, not enough to make a real difference here. So uh, let's continue on. Oh, we got a little bit of a leakage. Engine started running a bit hot, so we added a cooling solution over there. The next contestant is pure vegetable oil. Vegetable oil runs just fine. Can you believe that? Uh, again, the smell of it, it, it smells like it's like an old dirty fryer and uh, you haven't changed oil in that for a while. That's what it smells like. But other than that, there's very little difference. The RPM is uh, slightly lower, like 50 RPM-ish lower. But other than that, it's not really much. Avocado oil. Keep in mind, right now it's starting on vegetable oil and it starts just fine. No issues at all. Avocado oil, there you have it. No difference whatsoever. Let's, uh, let's try what else we got. I'm not sure if any of these oils will actually make it style or behave differently than what it is doing right now, but extra virgin olive oil. Let's go. you've seen it all organic extra virgin olive oil approved for using a diesel engine next we got grapeseed oil um, I'm not even sure what this is good for maybe good for a salad or something and uh, mustard oil I don't expect this will be any different than the others but uh, let's try Grapeseed oil works just fine. So mustard oil didn't really give us any surprise. Uh, it works just fine in diesel engine, just like any other vegetable oil will. So uh, now the interesting part, will it run on uh, water oil? Let's see. I don't have anything better than this. Much less viscous as, uh, as a diesel fuel 
and all of these vegetable oils. So I'm not sure if the pump will be able to pump it through, but uh, it might. Let's, let's give it a shot. You can see it's going slowly inside and uh, coming outside. I think this is still a mustard oil we have here. So I'm, I'll wait a little more so it pumps through and uh, we'll try to start it. So uh, you see once it's ran out of fuel, it started uh, slowing down, it will eventually die. So uh, I stopped it. But before that, it was, it was running perfectly fine on uh, motor oil. So this is Amazon Basics. High mileage, full synthetic, 5W30. Runs just fine. I'm not sure what's going on with this uh, diesel engine. It looks like it's, it can take whatever. And uh, the other thing I, I, I can't test really is uh, put this engine under load and see if it will, will not be able to run as fine under load. But uh, with my setup over here, it can only idle. So uh, I don't have any way to test it under load, unfortunately. Our last two contestants are uh, different types of transmission oil. This is just a regular ATF. Valve line and we have uh, genuine BMW transmission fluid. So uh, let's see what works better. Alright, so we ran out of our transmission oil pretty quick, so had to stop it, but it was running just fine on transmission oil too. So uh, last thing we're going to try it is running on BMW transmission oil. I don't think it's going to be any different. Alright, I think we're ready. It ran just fine on the BMW transmission fluid. So uh, what do we confirm today? That the diesel engine doesn't matter what oil you put inside, it's just gonna run regardless. It uh, looks like any type of oil we have here that we put on the table, uh, it works just fine inside a diesel engine. That concludes it. You've seen it all yourself. Bye.